Hello, my name is Nick Brown, the United States Attorney for the Western District of Washington, and it is my pleasure to introduce the winner of this year's Norma Lang Leadership Award, Edmund R. Witter. Mr. Witter serves as the Senior Managing Attorney for the Housing Justice Project, a service providing free legal assistance to renters facing eviction in King County. Mr. Witter's commitment to advocacy for marginalized communities and his leadership in providing legal aid embody the qualities of the award's namesake, the late King County Prosecutor, Norma Lang. Congratulations, Mr. Witter, and thank you for all that you do to protect some of the most vulnerable members of our community. Now, let's take a closer look at Mr. Witter's work. Edmund is a fierce advocate for tenants, not just King County, but all over Washington State. Edmund has been this tour de force of intellect, passion, commitment, and empowerment for the tenants on whose behalf and in partnership with whom he works. I would see more people lose their homes in one day here in Seattle than I would see in say five years when I worked in New York City in the Bronx. 90% of evictions just happen about rent. It's an issue of poverty. So we're having families, most of whom are losing their homes because of one month or less in rent. So they're falling behind due to a temporary unemployment. They're falling behind because they have a medical emergency. And there was just no safety net there. And even worse, even if there was a safety net, our legal system was not built to be able to tolerate that. So one of the things I really wanted to do when I came out here was, well, let's try to change it. You know, I knew Norm and I know Edmund. And one of the things that both Norm and Edmund do very well is they build an empowered culture around a sense of justice-oriented mission. The legislature this past year enacted the nation's first law providing for appointed counsel for indigent tenants in eviction cases. And that law really was Edmund's handiwork, along with others, but his leadership was critical for effective, meaningful, and accountable tenant defense services. Edmund also understands civil legal aid values of access to justice and, and commitment to diversity and tackling systemic oppression. It's really a call to action for him. And I definitely see that in the way he has molded the Housing Justice Project. In terms of where we are today, you know, things are better. We've made a lot of legal improvements, changing our eviction laws, making it so that if you do fall behind on your rent, you're given more time to catch up. We're working with you know, a bunch of other organizations to push local cities to enact their own tenant protections that are stronger than what the state has. As we move out of the pandemic across the state, there are more than 150,000 renters potentially at risk of eviction. The renter population is disproportionately black, brown, indigenous, and other people of color, and members of other communities that have very limited legal voice and economic power. And the right to counsel provisions of the law that Edmund helped pass really change the power relationships on their behalf. I'd like to thank my staff at Housing Justice Project, the support I've gotten from the King County Bar Association, Washington Low Income Housing Alliance, Washington Community Action Network. I could not have done anything without my partner, Allison, and our sons, Theo and Owen. Happy smiles. Mm -hmm.